This is the long-awaited update of my Monica cupboard. So if you are waiting to see how I've got on this past year, this is the video for you. Katie, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a mum of three, which you can hear behind me because it's school holidays. And on my channel, you will find videos about finding yourself, finding your style, and getting organised while you are at it. I post every week on a Sunday and I would absolutely love it if you subscribed so that you get new content. And please do say hi down below so that I can get to know you. So I'm going to show you a little clip of what this originally looked like. You can see it was a little bit of a mess. And then another clip to show you how it was left last. So nice and tidy, nice and neat, everything had a place. So it has been pretty much about a year since I did that video. And a lot of you have been requesting an update. You are desperate to see how it looks now. So if I show you, first of all, we got a new door. The original door was basically hanging off the hinges and as much as we haven't even painted it yet, it's still got dimensions and things on it, it is a new door and it does open nicely. So as you can see, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the neatest of people in the entire world. So I do have to sort through this. This accumulates every couple of months and then I have to give it a tidy. But I thought actually I need to put a better system in. So I'm gonna do that today. If we go up, everything is basically the same. These are the files where I store all of our important paperwork and they're still falling apart. I can't be bothered to replace them because you know, they do the job. But that is all exactly the same. So we've got drawers with all the pencils. We've got our passports here that do need to go away. Um, you know, we've got this, this is, um, the girls came home with all of the work that they've done throughout the year and exercise books and things. So they can just stay there now. I just, you know, I can't be doing with that. But this is a pile of stuff that does need to be dealt with. Moving down, this is pretty much the same. You know, nothing really changes in this area. We've got games at the back. Um, this is new. This is I bought this um, last autumn because I wanted a centerpiece for our dining room table. Baby books and this is our project life which I don't think I mentioned before but it basically has chronological order of photos that we take every year. And then moving down we have got the wrapping paper which there's more wrapping paper since you last saw it. Um, but everything is still neat. It's easy to access and it gets the job done. So what I need to do is go through that pile and think about processes that would help me to not allow it to get in that state. It doesn't build up that quickly, but if I can just do something that means it won't fall out on top of me every couple of months, then that would be good enough for me. I seem to have souvenir -y type things from the children. I've got a few envelopes and things like that. I've got a lot of cards that I seem to have collected um, that would come in handy for birthdays and weddings and stuff. I've got a pile of photos that I don't even know why they're out. The girls must have been looking at those. Then we've got bills that need to go away. This is all French vocabulary from French club, um, girls attendance records from school, and that's about it. So it, it's all stuff that, that can have a process. Um, the paperwork mainly, everything else just needs me to, to tidy away. So I have a spare one of these. Um, I don't really know why I haven't used it sooner, but you know, just life gets in the way. Um, I have a feeling this was from Wilco's. Um, so, you know, Walmart, any, anywhere like that. I mean, it's just a cheap, cheap, what is it even called? I don't even know what it's called, a file thing. Um, so I think going forward, my paperwork that comes through the post, any bills can go in here. And that once that is full, then I will know it's time to clear it. Obviously I'm not gonna put the stuff back in there now. I'm actually gonna tidy that away, but that process will mean it shouldn't build up as stackable. 
the birthday cards um i think probably i can just put them here because they need to be accessible um so that i know if somebody's got a birthday to look there so they can go there that's fine so this pile was home stuff i've got note card things that actually i don't use them the girls use them more than me so they can have those these are name label things so they need to stay out because it's nearly time to go back to school envelopes i've got two envelopes they can go in a drawer in a second that's actually a birthday card that's been used uh, more envelopes a book we love our tough spot um not that i ever have time to do any of this but i really like this book so i'm gonna put that with these these are also brilliant these are osborne 50 things to do with your toddler so they can go with those and should i ever get time to do anything like that that's where they are uh this is just a notepad they're just a plain notepad so i guess that can go in there couldn't it I don't really know. Right, envelopes. Ah, okay, envelopes in that one. Um, I don't know what to do with them all, so many. Um, basically, I've fallen behind on our project life. So, I need. they need to go there so that I know that I need to do them. These ones were... Uh, right, I'm going to leave them there because there's just so many of them but i need another project life folder uh, if you haven't looked at project life it's it's brilliant let me show you ours so ours starts right at the beginning from the beginning of time <laughs> when we were at university when we first knew each other to moving in together just our earliest memories and then yeah i've got gaps so i haven't done but then it goes to once gracie was born all the way through to lil's being born um and i'm that behind that it doesn't really go past lil's at about eight months old um that was our rabbit he was a house rabbit and he lived to be 11 um but i've got i've got things in order and the thing is what you do is you fill like you put it's sort of scrapbooking but made easy because they've got little slots so you you know you write on the little cards and that but i just haven't got time so i just need to set myself the challenge of actually <laughs> completing that um or getting up to date with that anyway because it's just such a nice idea to have it rather than um an album for holiday an album for a birthday where you just have millions of albums it's just one chronological album these are all things like they've done well that was me actually that was me doing go ape um but they've you know when they've made things um which really i guess needs to go in a scrapbook as well which is to do with this so they that is basically i'm creating jobs for myself that is scrapbooks for them and now it's the paperwork right my children need me now they are getting bored and they want to do some baking so um yeah that is my monica cupboard pretty much neat and tidy i haven't done too badly over the year um but hopefully this new system will mean that i'm better hope you enjoyed watching um do let me know if you have your own monica cupboard and if you've got any pictures that'd be amazing do let me know and i'll be back with another upload next week bye <laughs>